Should PC and console be treated any differently in terms of game balance? That's what I want to talk about today, ladies and gentlemen, and specifically I want to focus on Battlefield Hardline, as right now the PC community for that game seems to have far more problems than what the console community do, and as such, a lot of the PC player base have left the game and gone on to other things. I'm a little saddened that Hardline has suffered so badly on PC, because in its own right it is a great game. It offers a Battlefield player the chance to focus more on infantry combat and remove some of the heavy annoyances like tanks from the equation. It runs beautifully smooth with only minor hitches that I've experienced and I can confidently say the game has not even crashed once in my 45 hours or so of playtime. And it's fun, fast paced game modes and lots of explosions and changes in gameplay, all around it makes for a great title. But where I think it suffers the most is balance, and let me explain why. Most PC players will use a mouse and keyboard to control input into a game. A mouse has a higher level of precision than what an analogue stick does, making things like recoil much easier to control. Movements are also affected by mouse input, as you can move the sensor much faster than having to wait for a fully tilted analogue stick to catch up with what you want it to do. I'm not bashing on consoles here, it's just that PC input is much faster and more precise than what a console can do. On those consoles, and uh, I'm going to use the K10 for an example here, the recoil is fairly difficult to manage and you'd need to pull down on an analogue stick to try and centre your aim again to compensate for that recoil. The same function applies on PC, only you have a much more precise mouse in your hand, making recoil far more easier to control. The K10 deals a max damage of 33 and fires bullets at 1200 RPM, so on console some of your bullets may miss due to the high recoil and rate of fire because it's a little bit harder to control, making it seem fine that it doesn't kill people too fast because you've missed a few bullets here and there. But on PC, the weapon is like a laser, dealing massive damage with virtually no perceived recoil at all. It kills people instantly. So you have two scenarios here. PC players who feel the balance of the game is just not good enough, and console players who don't seem to be complaining too much, if at all. And that leads me on to this question. Should PC and console environments be treated differently? From my own point of view, there are several weapons in Hardline that need taking down a peg or two. The M16 and the M416, for example, are easily the best rifles in the game. They outstrip anything, really, from about 12 to 40 metres. They, they just need to be balanced more. But on consoles, the recoil on these weapons, and I have actually played on the Xbox One at my mate's house, the vertical kick is pretty harsh on console, and because I'm not the greatest player in the world, I found it very difficult to keep my sights on target. I just didn't have the same issue that I did on PC. My issue there was that I was just crap at aiming. But maybe that's kind of what I'm getting at. Because it's not as precise, they don't have that problem. Whereas on PC, we are much more precise, and we have that problem. Therefore, with that in mind, would PC players benefit from having the game balanced differently to the game being played on the consoles? I can't help but think that a lot of players left this game behind because they didn't think the game was balanced fairly. And one of the first things that I heard about Hardline after release was that the K10 was too powerful and the M416 was just too powerful. But those cries weren't coming from console players, they were coming from PC players. And the numbers that are still playing on console have sustained at around sort of 50 to 60k during peak times, whereas on PC we've gone from maybe 25k down to 4k during peak times, and that's just a ridiculous fall in play account. The reason that I've stuck with Battlefield Hardline is because, well, number one, <laughs> I actually like it, and I can see past the issues that are currently there because they can all be fixed, and number two, I want to be part of the reason that this game lives on. Visceral have been really good at listening to the community when it comes to decisions on this game, and I really hope they are listening right now. I'm not saying the idea of different balancing for PC is my own idea, because there are plenty of other people out there right now that seem to be voicing this opinion, but I do genuinely believe that it is a good one. Yes, this kind of change will create more work for developers, but at the end of the day I think they will see benefit in terms of player numbers if this change were to happen. P 
PC numbers are very low for this game, but I believe that's only for a few small reasons. And with enough consideration and work, I think the game could become, once again, a big success. I'd really love to get your thoughts on this, because I know Hardline is always a talking point here on my channel, and if the devs were to take this idea forward, I think they'd need all the user feedback they could get. Drop a comment down below and let me know what you think. But thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, I hope it was uh, thought provoking for you. If you could drop me a like, that'd be absolutely fantastic. And don't forget to hit up g2a.com slash r slash westy and pick yourself up a great deal. The link's in the description. But until next time, my name is Westy, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.